Uh, eight years ago, when I first tried to drive my car onto the property, um, this month, April, I got stuck. Right here. And uh, that should have told me, that should have clued me in as to the kind of place I'm living at. We live on a bloody swamp! Yes, a swamp. In just this last year, I got stuck right here when I got off the gravel. Uh, well, the garden has done well, though, elevated like that. That is one success story. But last yesterday, we got four inches of rain, and it's flooded now worse than I've ever seen it. This, this is more swampy and wet than I think it's ever been. And, of course, these trees are dead from last summer, from all the rain, and they're probably 60 to 70 years old. So I don't know if it's climate change or what, but uh, the place is definitely becoming a, a swamp. And two weeks ago when I poured this slab, the concrete truck got stuck. I told the driver not to get off the gravel, but he did, and with predictable results. It was a near disaster. Oh yes, and I had to repair the plumbing, which got smashed. But that's not the worst of it. This was what I saw when I arrived this morning. Not a pretty sight. That's my water tank. It was about half full. I thought it would be okay. But uh, I guess not. The most frustrating thing about this is Two weeks before this happened, my neighbor, the one with the tractor, came over and, and asked me if I wanted to lift the top off of the tank so I could get in there and put a liner in because the concrete was messing with my water. And I told him, no, the groundwater is too high right now, so if I get in there and empty it out, it might float up out of the ground. So, but I was uh, too lazy, I guess, to go check and see that there actually wasn't any water in it anyway. I thought there was water in it. It went all last summer with all the flooding that we had and it was just fine. Um, but I guess if there's a lesson it's if you're gonna harvest rainwater it's not something that's gonna look out for itself. You have to stay on top of it and keep your gutters clean and check everything. I'm gonna put this back uh, the way it was so I don't think there's anything wrong it's just that I, I'm gonna put in a um, some kind of fail safe. I haven't actually thought about what that is yet but so to make sure that this can't happen again but in the meantime, I'm going to drill this thing down into the ground. This uh, well point. This is probably something I should have done from the start, since the ground is so saturated here, except for when we have a drought like in 2011. But I figure I can get this probably, you know, 30 feet down in the ground, and it should be fine. It uh, should filter out the sand. It's got a pretty fine three-layered mesh in there. So this will give me two sources of water. My only concern is the quality of that water. All of the standing water around here seems to have this like oily film on the surface. Now, I don't know if that's because of all the gas wells around here or if that's just a swamp thing. When I started here, all there was was swamp. Well, the king said it was daft to build a castle in a swamp. But I built it all the same, just to show them. It sank into the swamp. So, I built a second one. That sank into the swamp. So I built a third one. That burned down, fell over, then sank into the swamp. But the fourth one stayed up. <laughs> 